Hey, I'm Doug Doppler, and I'm here to talk to you about the new S Prestige 24 fret guitar. I've been using S series guitars for over 10 years, and they're, for me, the most reliable, useful instrument on the market. And this here is kind of the latest rendition of an amazing series of guitars in a great lineage. And for me, as a studio musician, as a live musician, I have to be able to use, for the most part, one instrument to cover all the different things that I need to do. And for me, the only guitar that's ever been able to do this is the S series. So one of the things I'm most excited about this guitar having is 24 frets. Lots of access to the upper part of the neck, like this. All the S-series guitars have had great lock and fine-tuning tremolos. And I've gone from the original Edge to the Low Pro Edge to the ZR to the ZR2. And there's a new improvement with the ZR2 that's actually a major improvement forward. And that is the ZPS. And it's a zero point system. And basically what happens is the guitar stays in tune no matter what tuning you've really got it to. You bring it into tune, it sits there and is extremely stable. So the new ZR2 tremolo is actually a pretty amazing device in that you can go from subtle to more extreme. our usage pretty easily. One of the other great things about this guitar is it's got some new pickups in it. This is the Hot Grinder 1 and the Hot Grinder 2 and a short tracer here in the middle position. In terms of the neck position, it's got a reasonable amount of output but it's got great clarity. So it's loud but clear at the same time. Bridge pickup, nice and ballsy. And the great thing about the short tracer is it's got a lot of output so it can sit recessed from the string so you've got a little bit more room here as you're playing and moving closer and further away from the bridge with your right hand. That's pretty cool. One of the places you really discover a lot about a guitar is taking it into the studio. You hear it in a way that you don't necessarily discover the subtleties in a live situation. So as soon as I got this in the driveway, I kind of unpacked it and turned the amp up and started recording. And it was amazingly consistent across the fingerboard. The power chords sound huge at the bottom of the neck, and the nice soaring notes at the top of the neck just totally sing. It's just an amazing instrument. That Every guitar has its own little set of imperfections. No instrument is totally perfect. And in taking this guitar into the studio, actually it's the most perfect instrument I've actually ever recorded. Pretty cool.